Good evening. Former APD officer Kenneth Skeens is facing criminal charges today, accused of using excessive force against a disabled man who was trying to check out at an Albuquerque Target last year. Skeens was fired from the job. The Attorney General's office released the video of that incident this afternoon and spoke with us about his decision to file those charges. Here's News 13's Natalie Wattis. On August 19th, 2022, Officer Kenneth Skeens and two other officers approached the man, proceeded to drag him out of the store and handcuff him on the street. Skeens now faces four charges, including battery and false imprisonment. I just think it's outrageous that um, a police officer who should be in a position to try and help someone um, who is clearly struggling and, and is clearly dealing with, dealing with some challenges, um, you know, as a customer in that store would end up in a position really abusing their power and using, you know, just really excessive force. The attorney general tells me they made the decision to file these charges to send a message to law enforcement and community members that they are holding people accountable. The video shows police walking up to the man, his money spread across the self-checkout counter. They tell him he's being detained and grab a bike he seems to be buying. As the man tries to explain himself, officers take him by the arms and drag him outside. Eventually, the man calls 911, seeming confused about whether or not they're actually police. Police take his phone and handcuff him at the direction of Skeens. He clearly hadn't committed a crime. And in the absence of criminal activity, there was simply no justification for the officer to, to engage with him in the way that he did and to escalate the situation in the way that he did. The AG says they don't plan on filing charges on the other two officers in the video, since Skeens was the one in control of the situation. In that same month, Skeens was also involved in a fatal shooting of Keyshawn Thomas at a gas station. Back to you. All right, Natalie, thank you. APD told News 13 back in May that Skeens was fired for an incident unrelated to that shooting. The AG says he expects a preliminary hearing to be set for this case in the next few weeks.